Hi, my name is Crea, your pod explorer, and I will show you how to create 3D models using Blender for the pod ecosystem. For this quick tutorial, we will be using Blender's EV real-time render, not Cycles for now. First, let's delete the default cube and start designing our 3D model. We can add new types of meshes by clicking here and use basic tools to move, rotate and scale our model. Once your model is ready, it's time to add textures. OnCyber currently supports standard material channels, so keep in mind that fancy shader nodes or procedural textures may not display correctly on your pod. Settings that create light such as bloom, emission and roll shaders are not currently supported either. However, you can add image textures, but just make sure they are connected to the right channels. Before exporting, get rid of any excess geometry. I personally like to highlight the mesh of my model in edit mode, go to mesh, clean up and select limited dissolve. This will allow you to delete extra vertices and save up some memory space. Then go to file, export and select GLTF 2.0. Make sure to select GLTF binary, and if you've added modifiers, remember to take Apply Modifiers, and it can even export animations. Once exported, make sure to check your file size. OpenSea supports files that are less than 100 megabytes, and remember that OnCyber recommends keeping your files under 50 megabytes for the best performance. And you're done! Check for part 2 to learn more on how to use Blender and how to upload your brand new 3D NFT to OpenSea.